Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are fine and in good health. So here I am back with your English class. In the previous class, we had started the chapter adverbs. Do you remember what is an adverb? Yes, adverb modifies the verb adjective or another adverb. It's mainly going to give you more information about the verb. For example, how, when, where, to what extent, how much and all the action was done. Clear? So in yesterday's class, you have studied the definition of adverb and the types of adverbs. Now, how many types of adverbs you have studied? As in, there are six types of ad adverbs as per your textbook. In yesterday's class, we covered three types of adverbs. Can you name those three types of adverbs? Yes, adverb of manner, adverbs of time, adverbs of place. These were the first three adverbs that you have studied right now can you tell me what is adverbs of manner adverbs of manner show how something happens how an action happens okay so it gives you the answer of the question how adverbs of time says when something happens so it gives you the answer of when now over here time when does not mean you say nine o'clock in the morning ten o'clock at night it's not that time we refer to the words that sh tells you or shows the time right for example tomorrow yesterday today early before late now these all words tell about the time right then comes adverbs of place. Adverbs of place shows where some an act, something happens or where an action took place. Right? So you get the answer of the question where the action happened. Right? Now where does not mean Bharuj, Baroda, Ahmedabad. What does it mean? Again, the words that are going to tell you about the place. Suppose here, there, before, here, there, anywhere, outside, inside, above, below. These are the positions, right? Place. Okay? So these were the three types of adverbs that you have studied. Now, we'll continue with the further topics in the chapter. So types of adverbs. These three we have completed, right? So today we'll be covering one, two, and three. So what are the three topics that we are going to cover today? Adverbs of frequency, adverbs of degree, and interrogative adverbs. Clear? So these are the three adverbs that you are going to study. I hope the first three are clear to you. Right? I hope these three are clear to you. Okay? If it's still not clear, the detailed video, you can watch it of yesterday's video. Yesterday's English class, you can go through that. Okay? So, let's start without wasting much time. Adverbs of frequency. The first topic that we will be covering in today's class is adverbs of frequency. Now, let's see. Adverbs of frequency, let us know how often the verb occurs. So, frequency itself, how many times? Okay, frequency itself we mean over here, how many time? Then action happened or that action took place. Whether that action takes place every time, okay, maybe once in a while. So, frequency will tell you how many times that action took place place the verb occurs verb means the action happens therefore they mostly modify verbs so when you're going to talk about how many times the action happened so it will be surely telling you about the action right so it will be mostly modifying means it will be telling you mostly about the verb 
these adverbs tend to appear right before the main verb in the sentence so this is a very main point that where can you find adverb of frequency where can you find adverb of frequency they come right before the main verb in the sentence before the main verb main verb means it says main action that we are going to talk about is it understood so it will come before the main action now popular adverbs in this category so popular adverb of frequencies are again always never normally okay so there can be many other also but mostly these can are used see we can see in the example i always read a book all always okay and the next is red right now red is verb red is verb isn't it always it came before red okay so how many times do you read it says i always read i always so here always becomes here adverb now do you see this this point is fulfilled over here these adverbs tend to appear right before the main verb so this is the main verb and it comes before it so how many times this action take place it's always that this action happens so it's adverb of frequency next does he normally walk normally walk his dog at this time so is it that every time at this time he goes for a walk with his dog right who or he takes the dog for the walk normally at this time so walk is the main verb and what is the adverb over here normally okay normally means most of the time clear so that is adverbs of frequency is it clear if it's clear now see page number 70 of your textbook below the note okay we'll see what your textbook says about adverbs of frequency so adverbs of frequency say how often something happens how often means how many times okay how many times this action takes place okay for example i often use the internet he she is sometimes late for school he rarely goes to the cinema so these are the examples see always usually hardly never and ever are other adverbs of frequency so again the words that are going to tell you how many times an action took place that is going to be adverbs of frequency how often okay is the question for which you will get the answer now the next type is adverbs of degree it's adverbs of degree now adverbs of degree tell us more about the intensity of the verb in the sentence in other words now what is this intensity they describe how much or to what degree now how much or to what degree the action took place it will give you the answer of how much kitna okay now see if it is how many you can count it's how many you can count but if it says how much that will be those words that will be showing you the extent the degree okay suppose if you say uh, uh, here she writes quite neatly okay what is the meaning of the sentence she writes quite neatly to kitna neatly quite neatly ha uska acha what neat work hota hai right so kitna so that is it. the word is used over there quite right so that is to what extent she writes, ne writes neatly quite neatly okay so that is adverb of degree it will show you how much see don't get confused in adverbs of frequency you get the answer of how many in adverbs of degree you will get the answer for how much clear see now 
they can be categorized as a low degree medium degree and high degree now extent can be low degree medium or high see low means somewhat medium is fairly and high degree is extremely okay so adverbs of degree can also modify adjectives and other adverbs so they can also uh, modify adjective other adverbs and are placed before the word they modify so if it modifies adjective it, if it if it tells you more about adjective it will be, it will come before the adjective if it is another adverb okay it will tell it will tell you it will come before the other adverb if it's a verb then it will come before the verb clear so popular adverbs of degrees almost enough just hardly okay so uh, i'll give you another example from a textbook the mangoes are very sweet mangoes are very sweet kitne sweet kitne sweet very sweet you say na very she is very beautiful kitne beautiful very so to what extent how much very you say na so the words that tells you about how much or to what extent something is okay that is adverbs of degree i hope now you are clear see the example this short essay is hardly sufficient okay मतलब एक ऐसे लिखने को दिया है वो छोटा सा लिखा है और इतना काफ़ी नहीं है सो हार्डली वो काफ़ी बोल सकते हैं ठीक है चलेगा राइट सो इट्स हार्डली ओवर हियर इज एडवर्ब्स ऑफ डिग्री इट्स सिंपली नॉट इनफ सो सिंपली आई एम सो एक्साइटेड टू मूव टू आयरलैंड ओके सो कितना एक्साइटेड आई एम सो एक्साइटेड सो डू सी ओवर हियर सी आई एम अंडरलाइनिंग ओवर हियर शॉर्ट इज इज हार्डली सिंपली सो कितना एक्साइटेड ओके सो एक्साइटेड ओवर हियर इज एडवर्ब सो इट्स सो एक्साइटेड राइट सो तो हम हाउ एक्सटेंट सो एक्साइटेड दैट इज एडवर्ब ऑफ डिग्री सो आई होप फ्रॉम हियर यू आर यू आर हैविंग एन आइडिया अबाउट एडवर्ब्स ऑफ डिग्री टू वॉट एक्सटेंट और हाउ मच क्लियर So let's see what a textbook says, and it's on page number seventy-one on the top. Adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree answer the question how much or to what extent. The mangoes are very sweet. She writes quite neatly. Tom works really well. He behaved rather rudely. So all these are adverbs of degree. See, to so you can use. She's too nice, too nice. So that is T double O. Okay, कितनी अच्छी? Too nice, almost, nearly, completely. So these are the examples of adverbs of degree. So keep these words in your mind. Clear? Now next, last type of adverb that is interrogative adverbs. Okay. So the interrogative adverbs. Now, what is the meaning of interrogative? Interrogative itself is question. What is interrogative? Interrogative itself is question, right? So the interrogative adverbs, why, where, how, and when, are placed at the beginning of a question. So as interrogative adverbs tells about the that's a question that they're going to talk about, right? so these questions can be answered with a sentence or preposition phrase after an interrogative adverb in a question you must invert the subject and verb so that the verb comes first okay so here the verb comes first and here this why where how and when you're going to use this in interrogative adverbs for now this is Only necessary for you to learn why, where, how, and when. These are the ones you are going to use in interrogative to ask a question, right? See, why are you so late? Where is my passport? How are you? When does the train arrive? Right. So these are the adverbs, uh, interrogative adverbs. You need to keep this in mind. Now see a textbook. What does it say? Interrogative adverbs ask questions about a verb. Okay. See when are you going to Delhi? It's asking about when are you going. 
कब जा रहे हो तो जाने के बारे में पूछ रहा है एंड जाने के जाने के बारे में पूछ रहा मतलब जाना है तो दैट इज एन एक्शन वर्ब सो इट विल आस्क अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट दी वर्ब वेन राइट सो दैट इज इंटरोगेटिव एडवर्ब वेन हैव यू पुट द बुक्स बुक्स कहाँ रखी है सो दैट इज एक्शन एक्शन के बारे में पूछा जा रहा है कि कहाँ रखी है right so that is where so that is interrogative adverbs so i hope with this you are clear what is interrogative adverbs so we have studied six type of adverbs adverb of manner that gives you the answer of how adverbs of time gives you the answer of when adverbs of place gives you the answer of where adverbs of frequency gives you the answer of how many times adverbs of degree gives you the answer of how much to what extent something happens okay something you like interrogative adverbs to ask a question about a verb when where how why is it clear so if these six types are very well understood by you then you will be able to do the next exercise that is a very easily if you are able to do this i would understand that yes you understood types of adverbs okay so after completing this exercise after this video do write in the comment section whether you were able to solve it or not okay if you understood it very well then i assume that i can move to the next topic clear now i'll i'll give the answer for only two i'll give the answer for only two and then and then you have the rest of them you have to do the answers you will get in the pdf underline the adverbs in the following sentence and write their types okay so you have blanks over here you have to write the type over there and you have to underline the underline the adverb okay so i know her quite well okay how much you know her quite so here quite is adverb of degree quite becomes adverb of degree and well is adverb of manner okay he rarely works hard so here rarely so here rarely tells you how many times so that is adverb of frequency i hope i don't need to go in detail and you will be able to solve the rest of the one okay so here we end with today's class